This is from Glenn Greenwald. MSC, MSNBC yet again broadcast blatant lies, this time about Bernie Sanders' opening speech and refuses to correct them. So I'm sure a lot of you guys saw Bernie's speech in Chicago. And, um, well, let's just dive into the article. This article kind of, kind of sums up what happened here. Uh, MSNBC is a dishonest political operation, not a news outlet. Somebody should just get this tattooed on themselves. <laughs> I'm not the guy to do it. That's too many words. But, man, what, what a killer opening. Uh, that Glenn Greenwald's pretty good with the pros. MSNBC is a dishonest political operation, not a news outlet. I would say MSNBC is a PR firm for Comcast, not a news outlet. Uh, but what Glenn Greenwald said sounds cooler. His sentence is, that's why he's a very successful uh, journalist, and I'm not a journalist. That's one of the reasons why. Anyway, all right. It is. It systematically and deliberately refuses to adopt a defining uh, attribute of a news outlet, a willingness to acknowledge factual errors, correct them, and apologize. There's a lot of other things that they don't do that news outlets should do, but anyway, we could... We could talk about that all day. So the most recent example uh, is as glaring as it is malicious. On Saturday in Brooklyn, Bernie Sanders delivered his first speech. Uh, and you can see the full two-hour event or J Sanders' uh, full 35-minute speech on YouTube. So Zerlina Ma Maxwell, who the host identified as a, an MSNBC analyst, now, what the host admitted, but Maxwell herself acknowledged, was that she was a paid official for Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign. All right. But she acknowledged who she was. So here's what she said. Maxwell was making gestures of approval um, throughout Sanders' speech and asked what the cause was. Maxwell proceeded to state demonstrable lies, demonstrable lies about that speech. She said... To be very serious about it, I clocked it. He did not mention race or gender until 23 minutes into the speech. And just for point of comparison, I went back and looked at Elizabeth Warren's opening speech, for example. She mentions race and discrimination in the first paragraph, so that's a big difference. So she was claiming he did not mention race or gender until 23 minutes into the speech. Uh, Glenn Greenwald says, that's a total lie. Sanders mentions race, gender, and discrimination multiple times at the beginning of his speech and long before the 23-minute mark as anyone who actually watched it, which presumably includes all of the MSNBC personalities on the panel who sat silently as this lie was broadcast, obviously knew was a lie. For good measure, Maxwell repeated the same lie in a tweet. All right, so here's her tweet. She says, okay, 23 minutes in, Bernie finally mentions race and gender. All one needs to do to prove this is an obvious lie is to look at the video of Sanders' speech, which the MSNBC panel had just done. So before Sanders even began the substance of his speech, he thanked those who introduced him, saying of Sean King's anti-racist activism all over this country, uh, and Sean King is uh, very heavily involved with Black Lives Matter, all over this country, and I'm going to say a few words about it today and more tomorrow, people understand that we have a broken criminal justice system, and there are few people in America fighting more than Sean to change that system. In the very first sentence, Sanders spoke to define his 2020 campaign, which came at the latest at the five-minute mark, even if one counts all the cheering, chanting, and obligatory acknowledgments that preceded the substance of his speech. Sanders claimed that the core message of his campaign is that the underlying principles of our government will not be racism, sexism, xenophobia, homophobia, and religious bigotry. This campaign is going to end all that. In the very next passage of Sanders' speech, at most six minutes into it, the senator vowed that the principles of our government will be based on justice, on economic justice, social justice, racial justice, and environmental justice. Sanders then devoted several minutes to denouncing the inequities, uh, unfairness, and destructive effects of America's criminal justice system and the drug war, contrasting the severe punishment meted out to low-level uh, pot and other small-time offenders to the full-scale protection and even bailout for the Wall Street tycoon who crashed the economy in 2008. So, in other words, in some, well, let's go to the summary of the article. In some, Sanders did not just mention race and gender once in his speech before the 23-minute mark, like Maxwell claimed, but he did so repeatedly. It was not only the major theme of the speakers who introduced him, but a primary theme of his own speech from the start, both explicitly rallying against the evils of racism, sexism, xenophobia, homophobia, and religious bigotry, and vowing to usher in social justice and racial justice. 
but also launching full-scale vehement attacks on the policies, inequalities in the criminal justice system, and immigration abuses that have as their primary targets racial and religious minorities. So that was just false, what she said. And, and, you know, I remember I didn't watch the whole thing, but I started it from the beginning and I started trying to compile it for the Jimmy Dore show because we were doing this was when we were doing our live stream on Saturday. And I remember him saying all these things and I only watched the first like handful of minutes. I want to say I watched it most 10 minutes because we were getting ready to go live on a stream. So all the things Glenn Greenwald mentioned, I remember hearing, and I started this speech from it begin- the beginning, and there's no way I watched 23 minutes of the speech. I watched maybe about 10, I think, at most, and that's being generous because I was preparing for the live stream. So I had to just watch a little bit to be prepared to talk about it if it was one of our topics over at the Jimmy Dore Show. So... Glenn Greenwald is right. He has all of the he has the video evidence supporting that he's right. And MSNBC will not detract anything. Um, this analyst will face no consequences because when you're towing the establishment line and lying for the status quo, there are no repercussions. If ever there was a lie the other way around that hurt the status quo, they'd correct it. They'd correct that lie. But when it's a when it's a lie for the status quo, they ain't gonna correct it. So good job, Glenn Greenwald, in calling this out. And once again, shame on you, MSNBC. They're not a news outlet. They're a PR firm for Comcast. Or, as Glenn Greenwald puts it, it's a dishonest political operation, not a news outlet. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your